Tesla is the undisputed leader for automotive battery technology, but will this lead last? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner One. Tesla's newest battery technology found in the Model 3 and the Model Y are made to last between 300,000 and 500,000 miles, clearly longest lasting batteries in the automotive industry. And their batteries are able to charge up really quickly because they have superior battery management systems and really good cooling technology. Tesla's pace of innovation and their constant improving of their technology has led them where they are today as the market leader in both EVs and also batteries themselves. However, Tesla is not one to just sit back and rest on their successes. But they are constantly pushing forward and getting better and better technology. We'll have a lot more details of Tesla's future plans and a lot of details of how they have improved their battery tech. But it does seem like Tesla is going to reveal details at this battery day for their 1 million mile battery. According to this article from Reuters, they said, The new million mile battery at the center of Tesla's strategy was jointly developed with China's contemporary Amperex technology or CATL and deploys technology developed by Tesla in collaboration with a team of academic battery experts recruited by Musk. So as I've laid out, Tesla is a clear leader in automotive battery technology. But here are some reasons why I believe they will maintain their lead and maybe even grow their lead in the future. The first reason is that they have the most real world battery data over any other auto manufacturer. Tesla has a large amount of vehicles currently on the road and if you take a look at this chart you can see their growth there from 2012 selling only 2,650 Model S sedans to where their sales numbers ended in 2019 at 367,485 vehicles delivered that year and of course the first quarter of 2020 even with all the issues going on in the world they still delivered 88,400 vehicles. So Tesla has nearly 1 million vehicles on the road and they are constantly collecting data from these vehicles so they can learn and improve their battery tech and how they control those batteries with their battery management systems and cooling and things like that. On top of that, they have over 500,000 of the Model 3s and Model Ys on the road, which is their newest version of battery tech and they have tons of experience with that version of their tech as well. No other company has this much data, and this definitely gives Tesla a big advantage. But beyond the real world data, another big reason why I believe that Tesla will maintain their lead in battery technology is because of their battery testing and research team. So as was mentioned in the Reuters article before, Tesla recruited a team of academic experts and researchers to develop their new battery technology. And if you do a little bit of digging, it becomes obvious who that academic team and who those researchers are. Their main expert is a guy named Jeff Don. According to the Jeff Don Research Group website, Jeff Don is recognized as one of the pioneering developers of the lithium ion battery that is now used worldwide in laptop computers and cell phones. Don's recent work has concentrated on increasing the energy density, improving the lifetime, and lowering the cost of lithium ion batteries. The Jeff Don Research Group works out of Dalhousie University in Canada, and according to their website, this lab focuses on the physics and chemistry of materials for energy storage, primarily in the area of lithium ion batteries. Our industrial sponsor is Tesla Motors slash Energy, the world leader in electric vehicles and energy storage products. Jeff Don and his research group at the university have an exclusive contract with Tesla and they are constantly working with Tesla to improve their battery technology. In a Fortune article that was published in June of 2015 entitled, Meet Tesla's New Weapon, a Battery Scientist, they said, Tesla Motors has signed a five-year exclusive partnership this week with Jeff Don a leading lithium ion battery researcher and professor at Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia. The exclusive partnership with Tesla will begin in June 2016 once Don has completed the 3M research project. 
So Jeff Don's research and the credibility that he has are one of the reasons that I'm very bullish on battery technology from Tesla. Gally from Hyperchange TV recently mentioned a company called Novonix, which is related to Tesla's battery research. And according to their website, Novonix is a company spun out of Dr. Jeff Don's lab at Dalhousie University that specializes in developing equipment with a strong focus on the use of high precision telemetry, or HPC, for reliable lifetime evaluation of lithium ion cells. This testing method that was developed by Jeff Don and his research group allows Tesla to test more and more batteries to figure out the best way to have the longest lasting battery. It apparently shortens the period of time it takes to test the lifetime of a battery, thus allowing your pace of innovation to be even faster. So all this seems to show that Tesla has an exclusive contract with one of the leading experts in lithium ion technology, and he is using that expertise to help push the life of Tesla's batteries even further out, hopefully leading to this 1 million mile battery that we believe will be unveiled soon. Another big reason why I believe that Tesla is going to remain the leader is because of the engineering talent that they attract. Recently, Kevin O'Leary, or Mr. Wonderful from the Shark Tank, went on CNBC to talk about Tesla stock. And according to a video clip that was posted on Twitter, Third Row Podcast put this out, and he quoted Kevin O'Leary saying, I was a hater of Tesla for a long time until I realized that all the engineers want to work for Tesla. I ended up buying some, and now it's my best performing stock. It's not a car company, it's a data company. It's about autonomous driving. So if you think about it, it becomes really obvious why they attract top talent, and that's because they are the leader, and they are the ones pushing forward technology. A good engineer wants to work for a cutting-edge company that is doing groundbreaking research. Tesla is that company, and because of this, they are attracting the best of the best engineers. With the best engineers, you of course engineer the best product. And then the last big reason why I believe that Tesla is going to maintain their lead in battery tech is because of the recent acquisition of Maxwell Technologies. Maxwell Technologies was best known for making ultracapacitors. And according to their website, all Maxwell ultracapacitors are made with a proprietary dry electrode process, which has many advantages over the wet electrode processes used in competitors' cells. So this dry electrode technology is the key reason why I believe that Tesla purchased Maxwell Technologies. Recently, there was a white paper published, which I'll link to in the description below, that talked in further detail about Maxwell's dry battery electrode technology. One of the key quotes from this article stated, In this paper, we report a truly solventless dry battery electrode coating technology developed by Maxwell Technologies that can be scalable for classical and advanced battery chemistry. Unlike conventional slurry cast and wet coated electrode, Maxwell's DBE, or dry battery electrode, offers significantly higher loading and produces a thick electrode that allows for high energy density cells without compromising the physical properties and electrochemical performance. Maxwell's DBE, dry battery electrode, exhibits better discharge rate capability than those of wet coated electrode. So when you mix this all together, Tesla clearly has the best battery tech now. They have the most data collected on that battery tech. They have the best engineers, the best researchers, and they also have this dry battery electrode technology, which not only makes manufacturing more efficient, but also I believe is used to make a longer lasting battery. I can't wait till the battery investor day when we'll find out more details about the things we've talked about, but overall it's easy to see that Tesla is going to remain the leader in battery technology for quite a long time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, if you consider clicking the like button, that would help other people find the video as well. I also wanted to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters that help me make content and support me every month. If you're interested in finding out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, you can find a link in the description below. Thank you so much.